I'm George from Utah and we're going to talk about how to adjust self-closing kitchen cabinet hinges. For these hinges that are the, the soft close, self-closing, what I mean by self-close is as I close the door, it actually will, the door will actually catch and the weight of it will slowly close it all the way to the cabinet. Um, it's a nice feature. We also, it also has adjustments. That's why we can make sure our doors are, are level. Now, typically that happens when we have two doors that are together. Now this cabinet's not on the wall, so my cabinet itself is not level, but I can still explain, for our purposes, I'll still explain here how to level it and show you that we can still make it level even if my cabinet is not quite like it should be. So, now all of the hinges have three adjustments. We have this one, which is going to allow us to go in or out, depending on how we need to. This one, which is going to take us front and back as we need to. And then this middle one, which is going to take it up and down as it needs to go. So if I check this door, if I close it, we have a really big gap here and my doors are uneven. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to close the gap a little bit by letting that one out. So as we change the adjustment, I first adjust the, the one that will take it in and out this way. On the second one, I do the one that goes front to back. On this one, this one's got a lot of flex in the door, both here as well as there on the bottom. So if I, if I were to adjust on that same hinge, this back one, it's going to, if I let that top side of that out, it would automatically push the bottom in, which would take care of the flex in the door. That way you, we can adjust our doors and angle them however we want them. So we can tilt them this way, up and down, as well as in and out, so we can get our doors level just by adjusting our hinge. I'm Jory from Utah, and we just talked about how to adjust self-closing -clo kitchen cabinet hinges.